begin tonight with decision 2012 in the race for the White House. Most of the candidates vying for the presidential bid are campaigning nonstop here in Michigan, including Mitt Romney, Rick Santorum, and Ron Paul. In fact, right now, the Texas congressman is in West Michigan. Just a little while ago, he wrapped up a speech to a big crowd in Hudsonville. That's where we find political reporter Rick Albin. Rick? When you think of political rallies, if you think about big crowds, lots of enthusiasm and people who are really behind their candidate, that's exactly what you got today in Hudsonville at the Pinnacle Center. I've been at many events at the Pinnacle Center. I've never seen more people in there, and it was an enthusiastic crowd. People started lining up three hours before the event was supposed to start. They packed the place. They listened to Ron Paul talk about the same ideas that he talks about every place he goes. Very consistent message. Talks about changing the monetary policy. Got a big cheer out of people when he said he'd like to get rid of the Federal Reserve. Talks about bringing home the troops. And when he talks about bringing home the troops, he's not talking just about from current theaters of war. He's talking about troops from all over the globe. He talks about some big ideas, and I ask him about his plan to cut a trillion dollars, a trillion dollars out of spending from the federal budget. What do you cut in order not to spend that trillion dollars? In order not to spend a trillion. Well, we document it in our, in our plan, but basically about half comes from overseas. It cuts back on militarism, but not defense. So we don't think we hurt defense at all. But we close down all the bases. We just come home and quit fighting the wars. That's a big hunk of money. And uh, we go back to 06 uh, budget line. Instead of having automatic increases, you know, the automatic uh, budget increases over the next 10 years, like 10, 12 trillion dollars, ours is to do the opposite lower the trend line and go back to 06 and then get rid of five departments of it you know five departments and this will this will get you a trillion dollars now tonight at 10 and 11 i'm going to show you much more of the rally because there were some real interesting moments in there where people were very enthused we'll have that at 10 and 11 o'clock and also i should tell you that we've learned that rick santorum is going to be here election night he'll be in grand rapids as he watches the returns come in we also know that mitt romney is going to be over in oakland county of course we'll have both of those places covered and of course tomorrow we have both romney and santorum in west michigan as decision 2012 in this michigan primary is the very center of everything that's going on now for the nomination process and we'll have the most comprehensive coverage. Live now in Hudsonville, I'm Rick Albin, 24 Hour News 8. Well, Mitt Romney will rally with supporters in Traverse City in just a few minutes. That begins at 6.15. Then tomorrow morning, as Rick mentioned, he'll be back in West Michigan. Romney will be holding a rally at Burn Electrical Specialist in Rockford. That event slated to start at 8.30 a.m. Rick Santorum will also continue to campaign in our state, as Rick mentioned. His next event scheduled for tonight at 8 o'clock in Davison. Santorum will then be back on the campaign trail tomorrow and back here in West Michigan. He's scheduled to attend a rally in Kalamazoo at Heritage Christian Academy at 7. 30. Again, the Michigan primary just two days away this Tuesday, February 28th. And 24 Hour News 8 is your station for all things politics. Be sure to watch us for live coverage throughout the day. And of course, after the polls close, we'll bring you the results as they come in, as well as live analysis. And as always, for all the big political stories of the day, simply head to Michigan.onpolitics with an X.com.